Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and actually welcome to a new series that I actually want to try out um, for today as well guys. So um, actually I'll just get straight into this. So if you remember last or a few, um, yeah it was last week wasn't it where I did the uh, April Fool's video about the uh, Uranus review where I said oh how great it looked um, on its object texture and obviously I was joking because obviously the texture in that for that Uranus isn't very good um, from what um, I've seen from all of your opinions and my own as well. It's not a very good texture for the um, real planet. It, but a lot of you guys seem to really like the idea of these texture sort of reviews so that's what i'm going to do for this like new series so it probably won't be see be the longest episodes ever they probably won't be like half an hour 40 minute videos like we sometimes do but yeah it's like some nice little filler just to sort of show off um the stuff in the main game because we do a lot of stuff with modded objects but why not actually go and actually have a look at some of the main game stuff for a change so yeah so if you a lot of you guys like this i sort of want to try this out so if you guys like this let me know and we can do more but if you don't like it also say I don't want to see this anymore and all that just so I um, hear your thoughts on that but yeah well, today we're going to be doing a review on all of like the uh, inner planets here and all of their moons so we have to get straight on with this as well but like, while I'm setting this up guys a massive massive thank you for everyone who's recently subscribed as well because yeah the sub count's still going up really really crazily quick so yeah just a massive thanks to you all there but anyways let's um, add all the moons in here as well after the planet so I'll see we got the moon put that there then we've got two both of mars's moon so that's our whole inner solar system pretty much excluding the asteroid belt i guess we can add series in actually why not um we can include that since it does have a texture as well so we'll just go and place that there all right so yeah we'll go ahead and start off with mercury for um yeah we'll do a review on mercury first here so yeah here is mercury um as you can see now on first thoughts it does actually look pretty good but if you um compare it to a real the real image for example if you um just go ahead and give that a quick google you can notice that the color there's a slight problem with the color of this mercury if, as you notice it's very very brownish and a lot of these areas have these like white patches on them like these areas here but if you go ahead and look at the real mercury for instance so I'll just go ahead and um, get an image for myself as well, just um, to make things easier to explain. But if you look at the real picture of Mercury, I'm looking at one right now. The real Mercury doesn't have as much brown as this. And also, these white patches, from what I'm looking at, these white patches, they're not there on the real one. Now, one thing as well, there was actually, there used to be an older Mercury in the game. If you go back all the way to, like, the really, really early videos, um, for instance, my first ever video, the uh, old size comparison, I'm pretty sure the old Mercury is in that video, but if you look at that, you can see it. The Mercury used to look completely different to this object right here. This one, this one came in a lot later. I think this came in about 2016, I think they added this in, 16 or 17, this object came out and replace the original one you, and you can't get the original anymore even if you had a save for it if you tried opening that up it would just spawn one of these in so there's no way to transfer it across versions to my knowledge but yeah overall the coloring on this it's too brown it needs to be more pale now i'm pretty sure someone has actually made a pale um a more pale version of it as well i can't remember who but i'm pretty sure i've seen one but just as a comparison as well with the modded one i have what i've got with the modded one is we've given it more of a grayish atmosphere so it sort of makes it look slightly more gray than the regular version. I, I actually do like the improvement on this one, I have to say. I think it does make it look a little less brown, but not too much, because the texture underneath it still does look quite brown. But overall for Mercury, I'd say the craters and stuff look really, really good and detailed, but it's these white patches and the brownish colour. I think they're a little too much compared to the real object. So out of 10, I'll probably give this maybe, maybe a 6, a 5 or a 6 out of 10 for accuracy. So, yeah, well, that's um, my sort of um, little review for Mercury. So we'll move straight onto Venus now, because I thought, since there's not many stuff in the inner solar system, we'll just do them all in one video, see how it goes. Right, so now moving on to Venus. So we'll obviously have to look underneath the atmosphere. And, th and then we have this texture here. Now, this is a very, very good representation, obviously, of the real image. Obviously, if you look at a real image of Venus with the surface removed. So, yeah, um, let me just get an image of that up as well. Just as a quick um, clarification, you can see, if you look at a real image of Venus... This area is what you'd probably see. This is like the main sort of shot. And now there is one thing that's slightly off, and that is this white area. It should be a little more yellow. That's the only sort of thing that I can really say about the texture of Venus for not being as accurate. Because if you look at all the pictures of real white, the real Venus without um, the clouds on it, these um, white areas, they're a little more yellow. They, they shouldn't be this white in colour. They should definitely be a more sandy, yellowish sort of 
colour. They definitely should not be white. So, yeah, other than that, though, Venus is... I think they did a really good job with the Venus texture, I have to say. We'll go on a flashlight to get a full look around. But I think this is a really, really good um, representation of Venus's surface. So, yeah, for the regular Venus in the game, I'll definitely give that a thumbs up. Now, moving on to the atmosphere, on the other hand... This is where it sort of goes downhill for Venus. So for the texture underneath, I'd definitely give it a strong 8, 9 out of 10. The only way it doesn't get 10, really, is because these areas are white instead of yellow, which is what they should be. But if we're going to include the atmosphere as well, that will drop its score, I think, to a, a 5 or a 6. Because this, this greenish, pale green... That's not what Venus looks like. If you look at, obviously, the space engine Venus as well is quite a good representation. If you look at a real picture of Venus without, with its clouds on, it's not this green. It's more of a greyish, brownish, white colour. It shouldn't be this sort of green. I believe even the custom Venuses we have, none of them are exactly the same as, or none of them are really close to the real one. I mean, this there's a picture of it right there. That's more, so this is um, Gurun's one, for example. That's definitely better than what this is, because this is way, way, way too green. Um, and here's another custom one. This is some dumb gamers old one. We made it slightly more orange in colour. Like, this green is not right. We've also got another Venus here. This is a highly reflective one. So obviously Venus is a very, very bright object in the night sky. So it's quite reflective with the clouds. Here we've got two of them there. So yeah, overall, this cloud for Venus, that definitely would lower its score for me um, for the overall planet review. But obviously without... With the texture underneath, which is really what these reviews are for, Venus has definitely got a very, very good texture for me underneath here. So, yeah, that's my opinions on Venus. Remember as well, these are opinions, not facts. If you guys differ in opinions, let me know down below. Let me know what you think. Now, that's um, both of Mercury and Venus done. So, moving on to Earth now. This is, um, yeah, Earth's a good one. If we um, head to Earth, so there we go. Here is Earth. Now, obviously, we've probably seen this one a lot, I'm pretty sure. Not just in my videos. If you watch any other people who do this game, you probably see Earth quite often. Now, Earth... It's definitely got a very, very good texture as well. Definitely in the high 9, maybe even a 10 out of 10. I mean, there is definitely some improvements they could do to Earth with surface detail and the colours and stuff. But overall, Earth, for me, would be a good, like, 9 out of 10, 8, 9 out of 10. Here it is, uh, obviously, without the clouds as well. So, overall, they've got the map very well done with all of the stuff here. But obviously, even the sea levels are on point. And one thing I like about Earth's texture as well is due to the way it's made, if you add more water, it floods the areas which would flood first in reality. So if we add, obviously, a bit more... Okay, I'm guessing that's not going to work. That's quite annoying. If we add a... Okay, so... Ah! Can we not do it a little less? But also, if you add a bit more water to it, the areas which would flood first... So say the River Thames in London, or the Amazon Rainforest in Brazil over there. So, yeah, this area here. If you click this... Oh, that's... Why, why is he gonna do that? Come on! We can, does this? Can we? Can we do this? Does that do anything? I don't know if that does anything visually. This option here. That's quite annoying. Maybe. Yeah. That's just way too much. But okay, will it work now? Come on! I want to get this right. Stop ruining the video. But as you can see, if you look carefully, this area where the river is, this area fills up first because obviously it's a river, so obviously water flood in there and then expand out from there. So yeah, really, really cool. I, I've always liked how Earth does that when you add more. To it. That's really annoying that we can't add that. I guess, and what if we just do a quick delete of everything? Okay, so now if we have it running, what if we try with the game running and then we try to remove the water? So, will it work now? See, it still does it a little too much. Like, why can't we just have it in lesser amounts? It adds too much water at once. That's quite annoying. But one thing we can try is if we use material, we go to water, and then we start sprinkling the earth with some water. Oh, even that's too much? Seriously? Come on, man, that's a shame. Can we not... You used to be able to do it. I've, I and that, I will I'll say this as well. The way they've changed the, these options here, they add way too much water at once. Like, when I click it once or twice, yeah, it's adding too much in. Like, if we... Is it going to work now? Or oh, it seems it may actually work better, actually. Never mind. So if we keep it running, we keep clicking this. Oh, and it just floods it straight away. That's really annoying. Why are you going to do that? That is that is really annoying. If we lower it, then click it. There you go, there you go. So we pause it right here. So, yeah... When you add the water to Earth, the areas, like I said, which would flood first, do actually flood first. I think that's a really, really cool addition. Obviously, all of the lower lands areas, to so say the Neverlands in Europe, for instance, that a lot of that is below sea level. So this area would completely flood very, very quickly when you increase water on Earth. Obviously, the River Thames in London... Oh, excuse me. My voice went all funny. Um, yeah, obviously, the River Thames in London, that would flood up um, with the current state of Earth and the way it is. So that would all flood up as well, obviously. All of these higher areas, these would also be tall areas. So a lot of Scotland, that's a lot more highlands, mountains sort of stuff. So obviously that area would survive a lot longer than um, England in the south. And obviously the Alps in um, Europe there, then the Himalayas um, over here in Asia. These areas would definitely be safer than the lower areas. But as you can see, 
bits of Africa have started to go under the sea, the lower parts of Africa and where the rivers and stuff are. And obviously the Amazon rainforest here, that's a very good example of the river expanding outwards which i think is really really cool so yeah overall for me earth's definitely got a very strong texture as well i know we're going a little off topic about the water but it's still part of like the texture and the way its height map works and stuff like that um that it expands out like that which i think is really really cool so yeah for earth i'd definitely give it a solid eight or nine out of ten as well so it's really annoying that we can't do it in less amounts you used to be able to just add a little bits and it would slowly flood up the river but now it's just doing all of it at once that's quite annoying I, re I really don't like how they've changed these options. The old option menu for this was better, if you ask me. But anyways, we're not reviewing the uh, game itself right now, so we'll move on to Mars now. And now, from what I've heard about Mars, I've seen this from some of you guys' opinions before as well. Mars has got a very, very good texture for it as well. So if we go on, um, yeah, realistic. Oh, no, we'll, keep, no, we'll keep on flashlight. Why not? So here is Mars. I'll see. See this one pretty um, pretty well. Remember, my settings are on the highest as well. If we go to um, here, texture textures here yeah they are on high so if we put it on low for instance it would make it look um not as detailed but obviously i play on high so we get the full detail um for this um but yeah overall mars i think has got probably one of the like i agree with you guys as well um from the people who've said it in the past mars definitely has some of the or probably the best texture in the entire game so for me as well this would definitely be a massive nine or ten even out of ten because yeah this is a really good one obviously when you add water to it as well same with same as earth and same as all the other planets, really. All of the lower areas of Mars, they all get filled up first. So a lot of the north of Mars, most of the northern areas, that's a lot lower than the south. The south has got a lot more highlands. But in the north, it's a lot lower down. So that's where the ocean would expand out from. So, yeah, you can see there it's, it's slowly expanded from the north. So hopefully we can get this right. And also the volcanoes as well, they stick up above the ice um, here as well. But oh, it's really annoying how we can't get it exactly the way we want it. This menu... This really needs fixing. It's really annoying to get the exact amount of water you want. And I'm sure we all experience this as well. It's not just me. But yeah, I've had it in many episodes before. Okay, so we just click it nice and slowly now. Can we get it nice? So you can see the volcanoes are appearing out. So yeah, about about there. You can see it. Most of the water starts off in the north and it works its way down as you add a bit more like that. So you can see, here we go. So nice and easy. So yeah, most of the ocean starts in the north. And then it works its way down. I love how the textures do that after this. I think it's a really, really cool addition. But yeah, the, that menu really needs a fix. But yeah, anyway, going back to the texture of Mars. I think this is, like you guys said as well, I know I'm repeating myself here, but this is definitely one of the best textures in the whole game for things. I mean, there's it's got all the craters, it's all mapped out well. Obviously, we've been to Mars very or uh, quite a lot compared to the other planets um, with probes and stuff. So we've got, obviously, um, lots of it mapped out. There's always there's probes flying around it, mapping it out and stuff. So, yeah, Mars, for me, is definitely probably the best. I think I definitely agree with you guys on that. Mars definitely has one of the best textures. You can obviously see the four volcanoes as well. Really, really cool. So, yeah, yeah, there is Mars. But now, moving on to Mars' moons. This is where it gets a little funny. So, if we uh, go here, Phobos and Deimos here. No, not to you, Deimos. We well, want well, Phobos as well. There we go. So, we'll just put them in a big line here, just so we can get them all lined up. So, there we go. So, then we'll go to its moons. So, here are Mars' moons. Now, if anyone's seen a picture of Mars' moons before... You can tell straight away there's something off about these. So, yeah, there we go. So we'll just drag them out from here as well. So you can tell there's something off straight about these, and that is they're spheres. These moons aren't spheres in real life. In real life, these are little asteroids. So I'm not sure if it's just the texture, but I believe even on low quality, yeah, they're still spheres. They shouldn't be spheres. If we put the whole game on low, does that, does that just make them smaller? That's, that's weird, but if we put them on high again, makes them bigger for some reason. That's very strange, but... Yeah, these guys shouldn't be spheres. They should be um, more objects, more like this, just with textures. They should be. They should look more like these, not spheres, because objects this size, first of all, they don't become spheres anyway. They they usually are always obscure shapes. And secondly, the the textures just they don't look right, just on the spheres. It's very silly. So for me, these are probably some of the worst textures in the game just because they're spheres and the texture just doesn't look right on them so yeah for these guys i'd probably have to give them a one or two out of ten with my personal opinion i don't think these moons are very good representations of the real ones um so yeah they're those guys and that's all of mars's stuff done so yeah lastly we'll move on to series which oh, we don't really go to series much in my videos but yeah here, here is series now as you can see like mars very, very good detail. It does have a little bit of blue on it. As you can see, there's some blue zones. Now, the real deal, it does have 
these sections, but I'm pretty sure the blue zones on the real one are not as crazy as they are in the Universe Samox one. But either way, I think the, the way the craters and, and all the rest of the textures done, I think it's a very well done job with the textures on the um, series. I have to say, I think I think it looks really really good um, um, compared to the real one. Apart from the only the only minor thing is the slight bluish areas because the real one. I'm pretty sure the real one's areas. Yeah, just looking at an image of it now. It does, the blue areas on it are definitely not as vibrant in colour as the ones in Sandbox here. But, yeah, other than that, I'd definitely give this a 7, 8 out of 10 for me. Because I, I think they've done a... I think series, even though it's quite a minor object, I think they've done a very, very nice job of texturing this out. I mean, there's loads of craters everywhere. It looks really, really good. Um, so, yeah, that is my review for all of the inner planets, guys. So, yeah, let me know what, what you think about um, this new series. Like, should I do it for, like, all of Jupiter and its moons, Saturn and its moons, Uranus again, do a proper review for it, and then I'll see the original Neptune here as well. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this series. Like, so, I saw, like I said, I saw a lot of you guys did like that April Fool's video and the concept of a review, a review series. So yeah, I thought I'd give it a try for a video, so what you guys think about it. But um, yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. So if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. Let's see if we can go for 40 likes on this video as well, guys. And also subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 8,000 subscribers because yeah, the count's been going up really, really good recently. So yeah, massive thanks for that. And yeah, that's about everything, guys. So let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know which um, what you would put out of 10 through these videos. Like, how would you rank these um, in order? Because for me, it'd be uh, Mars, Venus, or Mars, Earth, or Venus. I think I'll give them a joint second. Then we'd have Sirius. Oh, no, no. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm goofing myself up now. Mars would be number one. Venus and Earth would be joint second. Third place would be Ceres. And then fourth would be Mercury. I think that's what I'll pull it as. And then obviously Mars's moons, they'd be... Poor, a poor last place because they are not good. And on actually, the moon as well. We'll quickly go on to the moon because obviously I forgot about it. The moon. This has one of the best textures as well. So I think this would definitely be in the top three for me as well. I know we'd, I know I'm quickly hopping to it at the very end of the video right before we end off, but I forgot about it. <laughs> but yeah, never mind. But yeah, here is the moon. Obviously, very very good um, craters on that. I mean, this is obviously mapped out very well, like Mars as well. So you got to expect pretty good quality of this. So yeah, Mars and the moon are probably the top two. Um, for texture detail as well but yeah there we go so that's all of them done now so yeah that'd be my ranking so mars and moon venus earth mercury and then oh no series then mercury because mercury's one's a little poor as well but yeah mars's moons are definitely a dead last because they're just not right they shouldn't be spheres so it's very very weird but yeah that's that i guess but yeah like i said guys let me know what you think of this series and i sort of i, I did that was a, probably one of the worst outros i've ever done but yeah, oh well I'm, I'm sure i got the point across of what i wanted to say so yeah, let me know um, what you think about these. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this. So, see, this is a series that um, I saw you guys like the concept of, so I thought I'd give it a go. So, yeah, let me know what you think of this, um, guys. But, yeah, that's everything now. So, like I said, see if you can go for 40 likes, subscribe if you're new. And, yeah, make sure you guys all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.